Spot's Magical Christmas. It was Christmas Eve and Spot was decorating the Christmas tree. It looked very pretty. He thought it would be perfect with a star on the top. I won't get Mom because she's busy wrapping presents. I'm sure I can reach if I just stretch up. Spot's mom, Sally, came in to see what the crash was. Spot, I think you're getting too excited about Christmas. Why don't you go outside and help Dad collect some logs for the fire? All right, Mom, said Spot. I'll finish the tree later. Spot put on his hat and scarf and rushed off to see his dad. Don't forget to shut the door, Spot, called Sally. Quietly. But Spot had already closed the door with a nice loud bang and didn't hear what she said. Spot's dad, Sam, was loading logs into a basket. Hello, Spot. I thought you were decorating the tree. I was, Dad, but the decorations were getting too excited. Sam smiled. Ah, yes, they do that at this time of year. And then a strange voice said, Ahem. Excuse me, hello. Spot and Sam looked all around. At first, they couldn't see anyone, but then they realized there was a head high up above the fence. Have you by any chance seen a sleigh? A big red sleigh? A second head appeared over the fence. In fact, Santa's big red sleigh, said the two heads together. He's going to need it tonight. Are you Santa's reindeer, asked Spot. That's right, but we've lost Santa's sleigh, and if we don't find it, there won't be any presents for anyone. But that's awful, said Spot. What are you going to do? Keep on looking, said the reindeer gloomily, and they disappeared together into the woods. Spot was very upset. You could help by asking your friends if they've seen the sleigh, suggested Sam. I'll try Helen first, said Spot. Helen was in her kitchen making iced cookies. Hello, Helen, shouted Spot. Helen jumped, and the icing jumped. Helen, Santa's sleigh is lost, and I'm helping to look for it. Have you seen it? Is it big and red? Yes, yes it is. I thought it would be. No, I haven't seen it. But why don't you ask Tom? I'll come and help when I'm finished these. Okay, said Spot. I'll take one of these cookies with me. They're not ready, said Helen, but Spot was gone. Tom was putting up paper chains when Spot suddenly rang the doorbell. Tom jumped, and the paper chains jumped and wound themselves all around him. Tom, have you seen Santa's sleigh? It's lost, and he needs it to deliver all the presents. But Tom hadn't seen Santa's sleigh either. Maybe Steve has seen it. You go and ask him, and I'll help look in a little while. I think your decorations are getting too excited, Tom, said Spot. Steve, Steve, are you there? asked Spot, rattling the mailbox. Steve was wrapping up a beautiful new ball, which was his Christmas present for Spot. He jumped, and the ball jumped and bounced all around the room. Just a minute, shouted Steve, and finally managed to chase the ball into a cupboard. Come in, Spot, the door isn't locked. Spot explained about Santa's sleigh. I haven't seen a big red sleigh, said Steve, but I have seen a small blue sled. Where? Here, it's my own blue sled. Let's take it out for a ride. <laughs> we should be looking for Santa's sleigh, but, well, all right, maybe we can look and ride at the same time. Steve and Spot pushed the sled up to the top of a long hill and climbed on. Hold tight, Spot. The sleigh sled started to pick up speed. Ha Helen and Tom appeared at the bottom of the hill. Look out, Helen. Look out, Tom. The sled went hurtling down the hill and came to a sudden stop in a pile of soft snow. That was great, Steve. Let's do it again. We've been looking everywhere, but we can't find Santa's sleigh, said Helen. Have you seen it? Just a minute, said Steve. What's that among the trees? There was something red showing through the bushes. See that? A little bit of red right there. Great, you found it, said Tom. 
But that's not Santa's sleigh, said Spot. No, it's my ball, said Tom. I lost it yesterday. What luck. Can we go for a ride on the sled now, asked Helen. Of course, said Steve. Don't be long. Keep looking for Santa's sleigh, said Spot. Helen and Tom pulled Steve's sled up the hill. Your sled is really great, said Spot. I wish I could have one like it. You should have put one on your list for Santa to bring, said Steve. It's too late, said Spot. Anyway, Santa won't be bringing anything this year if we don't find his sleigh. Helen and Tom came whizzing down. Whee, that was fun, said Helen. We didn't see Santa's sleigh, said Tom. Now we'll have just one more ride, said Steve. Let's go farther down the hill. Jump on, you two, said Helen. We'll give you a push. Ready, set, go. Tom and Helen pushed the sled with all their might, and it shot off down the slope faster and faster and didn't stop until it was right among the trees. Whoosh, said Spot. That was a long one. But Steve, look there! Steve turned to look. Helen, Tom, come and see what Spot has found. It's very big, said Helen. And very red, said Tom. It really is Santa's sleigh, said Steve. Well, said Spot, now we have to find the reindeer. I'll go and tell Dad. It's time we all went home, said Helen, but your dad will know what to do. Good luck, Spot, they shouted as he ran off. S Sam was just finishing loading the logs. We found the sleigh, Dad. It's in the woods. Good for you, Spot. But how can I find the reindeer to tell them? Follow their footprints, of course. See the footprints? Two sets of footprints led clearly away from the s through the snow. This is easy, said Spot. He put his head down and followed the tracks as fast as he could in and out of the trees and around and around in circles until he was quite dizzy. Then suddenly, bump, he stumbled right into some very long legs. I'm sorry, I was looking for, oh, I'm looking for you. I think you found us, said the reindeer, and I found your sleigh as well. That's wonderful. Jump on and show us the way. This is even more fun than the sled, said Spot. If you think this is fun, said the reindeer, you should try the sleigh. Would you like to? Oh, yes, said Spot. Look, we're passing my house now. Let me ask Dad. Sam was doubtful at first. It's getting very late, Spot. We won't be gone long, said the first deer. No time at all, really, said the second deer. All right, Spot, since it's Christmas, but you must come back before it gets dark. Thanks, Dad, said Spot. The reindeer were delighted to find there wasn't a scratch on the sleigh. In you get, Spot, and let's go. The sleigh gathered speed as it came out of the woods and skimmed over the ground. Spot saw his house with the Christmas tree in the window. Suddenly, they were high in the sky, and Spot's house looked like a tiny toy. He could see Tom's and Helen's and Steve's houses, and the whole countryside spread out far below. The sky darkened, and the lights went on all over the village. Then he looked up. Oh, the stars. He likes stars, said the first deer. Then stars it is, said the other deer. The sleigh flew up into the sky in a huge loop, and the stars fell sparkling in a great trail all around them. Mountains ahead, called the reindeer. That's funny, said Spot. There are no mountains here. But sure enough, high snow-capped mountains lay ahead of them. The sleigh seemed to slow down and fly along a valley among the mountains. At the end of the valley, the sleigh flew right into a cave on the side of the mountain. Spot gasped in amazement. He had never seen so much bustle and activity. Why, it's Santa's workshop, he said. And at that moment, Santa himself appeared from an opening in the rock wall and waved to Spot. Spot could hardly believe his eyes. See Santa up there? Now it's time we took you home, said the reindeer. We've a busy night ahead. Mm, so much going on in that picture.
the sleigh left the cave and the mountains and flew back through the stars down to Spot's village and finally landed beside Spot's house. Oh, thank you, said Spot. That was like, like magic. Well, Christmas is magical, said the reindeer. Spot looked up at the sky. It was still daylight, and he couldn't see the stars. When he turned around, the reindeer and sleigh had disappeared. Sam was still standing by the pile of logs, exactly where Spot had left him. Hello, Spot. I thought you were going for a ride. Yes, I've been, Dad. It was wonderful. It didn't take long, said Sam. No, no time at all, really, said Spot. Spot went indoors and told his mom all about his exciting adventure. She pulled a large Christmas stocking out of a drawer. I think you need to hang this up, Spot. Santa will be here soon. Spot looked out of the window. Now it was dark. Yes, I know, Mom, he said. But just for a moment, high above among the stars, he saw the two reindeer and Santa in the big red sleigh. And in the morning, there was one very special pre extra present waiting for Spot. Two Spot from the reindeer, and it's a blue sleigh like he wanted.